everybody doing? Welcome to this beautiful episode of our Mentorship Sundays. We're doing it here where I live. A little bit rainy today, but that's not going to stop us, right? So today we're going to be speaking about something really, really awesome. And it's just taking care of each other. So without further ado, I'm going to let the introduction play and enjoy the rest of the video, guys. as individuals you know are we supposed to take care of each other or are we supposed to go against each other right in this quest of life that we know we have to try to help each other as much as we can and that brings me to the topic of just the simple question of how are you doing you know that question is very important and it goes over a lot of people's heads they say how are you doing without expecting an answer but when you're asking that personal question, sometimes people aren't doing good. And that simple question, how are you doing, might be what helps them be better. I was watching an IGTV video and this man said he walked into a store and the cashier had his mask on, but he could see that he was crying. So the gentleman asked him, how are you brother? And the guy said, man, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good and you know I've been going through this my whole life but today I really just can't take it and uh, it appears that the guy had a tumor on his like on his cheek and he said for 55 years I've been having to deal with this I've been having to take ridicule but I've been strong but today man I just feel like giving up and the gentleman was just hearing the other guy out not really saying much and at the end of the conversation, the gentleman says that he has been strong for so long and anything he needs, you know, he'll just be there. But the, the most helpful thing, the most helpful thing from that conversation was the gentleman asking, how are you doing? And the other guy being, the, the cashier, being able to express himself, it did him so much. It did so much good to him. When was the last time he expressed himself to anybody, you know? When was the last time anybody asked him that question? And it just really goes to show that that question really, really helped him out. That question gave him a portal to express himself. Now, if that portal wasn't given to that man that night, what would have happened? Would he have gotten too fed up and decided to just pull the plug right there? You know, guys, so let's just be very, very mindful with the questions that we ask. And let's actually listen to what people have to say. Listening is a skill. Listening is essential. Listening alone will help so many people become better individuals. And listening will also allow us to understand individuals better. Allowing individuals to trust us more and allowing us to be better help for individuals. You know, guys, like just listen to what people have to say. When someone has something to say, when they have something to express, hear them out. Hear them out. And a lot of the time, you know, like, you don't have to give your opinion all the time. Sometimes people just need an ear to listen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and read you guys something different. It is a biblical text, but it's um, from my Jesus Calling book that I spoke to you guys about earlier this year. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to get out of this rain real quick. All right, guys, Jesus calling. And it goes like this. For April 11, it says, This is the day that I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Begin the day with open hands of faith, ready to receive all that I am pouring into this brief portion of your life. Be careful not to complain about anything, even the weather. Look at the weather today. Since I am the author of your circumstances, the best way to handle unwanted situations is to thank me for them. This act of faith frees you from resentment and frees me to work my ways into the situation so that good emerges from it. To find joy in this day, you must live within its boundaries. I knew that what I was doing when I divided time into 24-hour segments, I understand human fragility and I know that you can bear the weight 
of only one day at a time. Do not worry about tomorrow or get stuck in the past. There is abundant life in my presence. You can find references to what I spoke of in Psalms chapter 118 verse 24 or Philippines chapter 3 verse 13 through 14. Yo guys, this has been just, this has been a different type of video. More like a vlog style. I'm trying to switch things up, see if you guys like this a little bit more, but the message is still being sent across. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, please feel free to hit me up and reach out to me. With that being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, and amazing rest of your Sundays. You guys stay blessed. You guys stay healthy. I'll see you guys next week.